Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. For today's video, we're going to be looking at a chapter out of my own book, Yoga of Psychosis by Anshu Patre. That's me. So this is the basic uh, examination of my book. It's an examination of my spiritual journey through the young lens of Jungian psychology. We talk about my delusions of grandeur. We talk about my spiritual experiences. We talk about the individuation process, if you guys are at all familiar with Carl Jung. So, but for today's video, I just want to go into one chapter of this book, uh, chapter six, called Divine Madness. So let's read. There is the possibility that a drug opening the door to the unconscious could also release a latent potential psychosis. Carl Jung. The next few weeks after the LSD were some of the most harrowing of my life. I don't remember exactly what happened, but this is the synopsis. For a few days, I was disoriented, but my ego structure had not broken down yet. Everything felt strange like a dream, but the psychotic unconscious only took over after a few days. It started with the voices. I was taken over by them. I started talking to otherworldly beings in my head, driving around Atlanta completely out of my mind. A few times, these beings told me to swerve in traffic, which led to a couple of dangerous incidents in my car tire popping. I was stranded on the side of the road in the middle of the night, where I proceeded to wander the fields thinking that I was God. I began punishing all of the evil people in the world with my godly powers. I actually thought that they were suffering just from the divine power of my intentions. I punished all of the wicked, and especially those that caused me harm in the past. In introjection, he gets involved in a ridiculous self-deification, or else a moral self-laceration. The mistake he makes in both cases comes from attributing to a person the contents of the collective unconscious. In this way, he makes himself or his partner, either God or devil, Carl Jung. Somehow my parents picked me up, but the voices didn't stop. Even as I write these words, I feel an incredible guilt in my heart. I put my parents through so much. They took out the handles to my doors because I locked myself in my room, talking to imaginary people. I got into a couple of fights with my dad. Eventually, eventually, my parents could not put up with me any longer and sent me to a troubled men's home in Maine. So here we will pause the story and examine the nature of my psychotic break. First, prior to any psychedelic drug use, I had an experience of the blissful oneness and an archetypal vision of the self. Second, in line with the Jungian idea that the self is divinity manifested in the mind, once this force in the collective unconscious was released during the psychedelic experience, which causes a temporary dissolution of the boundary between ego and unconscious, my mind fell into religious delusionary fantasies as my ego brought the self down and identified the oneness of truth with the separateness of my body-mind. The unit of Godhead did not become Anshu, which is truth. The little, instead, little Anshu became God, which is a lie and psychotic fantasy. The dark side of the self is the most dangerous thing of all, precisely because the self is the greatest power in the psyche. It can cause people to spin into megalomania or fall into other delusionary fantasies that catch them up. So um, this is just a part of my chapter from my book, um, Yoga of Psychosis, where I discuss um, the Jungian um, interpretation or the Jungian view of my psychotic experiences. Namaste, guys.